Marine Corps, as you know, is transitioning out of every type model series airplanes into state-of-the-art, cutting-edge uh, capabilities. The V-22 is the start of that, and HMX-1 being a subset of microcosm, a reflection of the Marine Corps, uh, uh, that transition was going to be part of it. And so the V-22 coming to HMX gives it more capability, gives it more depth, breadth, range. Again, some of, the cap some of what you saw today is obviously why that aircraft's going to be beneficial. But HMX-1 in the past has been a CH-53 Echo, CH-46 uh, uh, green side squadron. So the V-22 now will take the place of those two type model series, series airplanes and, and really, again, provide a unique capability for that squadron. You, you, you saw it today, you saw the speed uh, of that aircraft and, and speed uh, speeds a benefit in any type of mission set, but certainly in the HMX-1 mission set. They got, got their first few airplanes last summer. Uh, did a, uh, a rollout ceremony down at, 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 in Quantico at the squadron hangars. They actually, uh, believe it or not, supported a presidential trip very early in the process in August. They uh, went up to Martha's Vineyard uh, and, and executed the pre presidential support mission up there in support of a Marine One movement. So they, they've been uh, really beating all expectations and beating all milestones in, in their ability to support uh, the mission.